Hi, so in the last video, I pretty much got the ball, uh, 100 balls bouncing around on screen, as you can see here. Not very much bouncing because I've got the damping to 0 0.5 here. Let's go back to 0 0.9 and it will, it will bounce around a lot more. And what I want to do is spend a little time in this particular video commenting the code that we've made. And it's good practice to do so. Uh, let's get started. So let's start from the beginning. These are the this is the this is the this is the graphics. This is the graphics um interface library that we're using library that we're using this is the thing that we're using to draw the actual balls this is the random library that we use to generate to create random um, positions and random colors this is our main window main window setup and this is our canvas setup the thing that draws the ball the ball, our balls for us that lives on the main window canvas setup uh, this over here BG is our background color You can put actual uh, names or you can put hex codes in. Um, to be clearer with this particular thing, you, you, you probably want to look at the, um, the documentation on um, how to do colors in this particular language. And I'll just show you over here. If you Google uh, these particular words here, you can see they'll give it a bit of an explanation. You can actually word, use the words or you can use the actual hex values. All right. All right, so um, don't forget this one. This, this, this um, sets, this, this pretty much packs everything together, pack and establish some kind of uh, um, fill fill options all right so this is our ball this is our ball class this is our ball object ball object um, cla uh, class is pretty much a blueprint to how, how, how we want the ball to behave this is our update function this is the actual behavior of the ball update function update that sets that sets the uh, that um, establishes the behavior of our ball. This is helps initialize our ball, and then this then um, deals with the behavior of our ball. This one, this one is the updates the position of the ball. And it uses canvas it's important the creation here this is where this is where um, the o the actual oval picture the oval uh, uh, shape is created in canvas yeah and we and a reference is kept just to explain why we need to keep when we create this over and we need to keep a reference of it we do use it here we need to tell canvas which particular object do we want to move so that's why we need to remember what object the canvas is referring to when it draws this particular ball that you've made and these instances are different for different balls and they're in different positions so we need to remember that 
and we need to tell canvas which ball we want to update the position of this is our balls array to store all our balls in our balls our balls in um, for uh, to store our balls um, for persistence basically means um, we want to make sure that each and every ball always remembers where it's supposed to be so it can so so um, it, it so it basically operates like a like a real object simulates a real object if you didn't have this and you try and you kept randomly spawning balls they're not persistent they just spawn and disappear like bubbles right we don't, we don't necessarily want that we want persistent objects that's why this is why, why this can pattern is so good because you you're, you're dealing with persistent objects this is our game loop this one over here is uh, um, is the uh, refresh the refresh code it refreshes every 15 milliseconds um, we can set this to frame rate because one second is 1000 milliseconds and if we want a frame rate of 60 uh, fr frames per second we could uh, do some c calculations so we can go fps equals 60 and our frequency that we want will be a one second divided by 60 divided by 60 frames per second we'll turn that into an int because this thing requires an int and then right at this point we can set our we can set this at anything we want 30 frames per second 24 frames per second and then we use frequency here down in here where we have the 15 so we can change our frame rate so I just want to do that um, and what we could do is just tell it tell tell we're on um, what what FPS we're on at uh, FPS plus FPS for so we're at you know 60 frames per second I don't actually want to try that out Um, oh, it's not happy with that. Uh, need to stir there. Need to convert that to a string. Okay, that's 60 frames per second. Let's go to 30 frames per second. It should slow down. Yeah, a bit slower. Not bad. All right. Uh, so this refreshes at uh, the set frequency all right this part draws this part updates all the ball positions updates all the ball positions in balls array and then this one tells canvas to do the actual update or handle the handle the all the all the business or basically do this for every ball handle all of that for every ball individually and then update the balls position using canvas which is here uh, and this is the last thing we call this is the main this is the this is the um, to kit to main loop that makes everything work that basically allows this thing to this particular window to just to come up All right anyway thanks for listening uh, uh and i hope you um to see you in the next video oh one other thing um i should just tell you i should just comment what this part is doing randomly sets the initial values the initial values of the balls balls all the balls of the balls uh, x y size speeds and color 
Alright, see you in the next video.